Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification and be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news. Security operatives said vessel carrying stolen oil to Cameroon ablaze. Security operatives of a joint task force operation Delta Safe in collaboration with Tatita Security Services have set ablaze a vessel that was intercepted in the Escravo area of Delta State. News of Nigeria reports that the vessel, which was carrying barrels of stolen crude oil, was en route to Cameroon with its illicit cargo. The seized vessel, allegedly owned by a Nigerian registered company, was apprehended at an offshore location. The captain and crew members of the vessel were also taken into custody. The oil cargo was illegally sourced from an offline oil well in Ondo State, as reported by Captain Warren Enesio, the Executive Director of Operations and Technical and Technical at Tatita Security, and Rear Admiral Olushegu Ferreira, the commander of a joint task force, Operation Delta Safe. These sources also stated that the vessel has been operating in steel mode for the last 12 years without valid documentation. Tantita Security Services Nigeria Limited, a security company owned by former militant leader, government, militant leader government, Ekpemo Pulo, aka Tompolo, and contracted by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPCL, has been uncovering a series of disturbing findings in the region. Earlier this week, security operatives under Tantita's command intercepted an oil theft syndicate operating in the Oporosa area of Delta State, resulting in the seizure of a massive vessel transporting illegal crude oil in the Niger Delta Creeks. Recently, former militant leader Asari Dokubo accused the Nigerian army and navy of being responsible for 99% of oil theft in the region. The Nigerian army and navy, however, denied Dokubo's allegations but incidents of oil theft continue to persist. You all let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this? Subscribe if you haven't shared this video with your friends and family. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online from people. Akin Sami A. Orija says, Could we not have gotten any financial benefits from the vessel and its cargo? Instead of Watom destruction always, the cargo could be disposed of legally and the owner of the ship fined accordingly. At least, I feel that, you know, if they had captured this cargo instead of just outwardly destroying it, probably they would have gotten evidence, they would have gotten one or two clues about, you know, the owners of the, of the, of the cargo, how they operate, you know, such information in order to aid their investigation in the fight against oil theft and oil bunkering. But I don't know why they have this habit of always setting ablaze cargoes that they capture. Kelvin says, people who are working are not talking, but those who are just thieves like Pig Asari is, make, is making mouth here and there. 
I guess that's how it is. Victor Onoha says, Why setting it ablaze, apart from constituting environmental degradation, the vessel could be put to other use. A bill, the vessel could be put to other use. It could be used by an NPC, you know, could be seized. Friday says, should that be the appropriate action to set ablaze the vessel? Mm. By middle John, those securities that set the vessel ablaze should be arrested with immediate effect. There is something hidden under their actions because they're supposed to investigate the owner of the vessel and return the product to NMPC while burning it. Apart from the fact that, you know, the vessel could have been put into good use, barrels upon barrels of crude oil was on the sh- vessel, was on the ship, and all that is gone. They could have just recovered back the stolen, you know, crude oil and give it back to NMPC. It could have gone into good use. I don't know why destruction, they thought about destruction as the most, you know, logical excuse. But anyway, what do you expect from people who who are just militants and who do not have experience in the actual work you know that they are being employed for of course i know that these people have made more progress than even the nigerian army that we say you know they are the ones that should be protecting pipelines you know protecting uh, uh helping the country avoid oil theft but we have not gotten any result from them these are the people you know these contracts people the tompolo group have been the one you know actually actually doing something that we've heard of in a very long time and my question now is is it that the army that were in charge of these areas previously is it that they did not know what was going on is it that they did not see is it that they were not aware or you know they just turned a blind eye because they are solely the ones you know actually involved in the oil theft as Asari Dokubo has, you know, accused them of. Temitokwe says, that is good. The owner should be sent to jail to serve as a lesson to, to the others. Lastly, Johnson says, why can't they just arrest the vessel instead of setting it ablaze? That's the same question everybody have been asking. But you guys, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about this? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and family. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.